astronaut snaps photo of black triangular UFO near the shuttle Columbia in 1986. This photo comes directly from the gateway to astronaut photography of Earth, a government website operated by NASA at the Earth Sciences and Image Analysis Department at Lyndon B. Johnson Space Center. They are responsible for training the astronauts in Earth observations, cataloging and archiving the photographs that astronauts take from space using handheld cameras. STS-61C was the 24th mission of NASA's Space Shuttle program, and the 7th mission of Space Shuttle Columbia. It was the first time that Columbia, the first operational orbiter to be constructed, had flown since STS-9. The mission launched from Florida's Kennedy Space Center on 12 January 1986, and landed six days later on 18 January. Official Explanation from NASA this is not a UFO, it's just a piece of thermal insulation tile floating randomly in space. UFO funds however disagree. Most people do not believe that the image taken by astronauts aboard the Columbia Space Shuttle shows a thermal insulation tile, but instead, the famous triangular-shaped UFO which has been seen by witnesses all across the globe. According to statistics this year there have been an increasing amount of extraordinarily similar triangle UFO sightings, mostly across the US. The Mutual UFO Network has been bombarded with reports of the bizarre craft that are often said to hover at low altitudes, silently with a slow speed. Many reports tell of a silent triangle shape, defined by a series of lights that are said to be in some cases as big as a football field, moving slowly across the sky. Triangle UFO During the STC-61C, the seventh mission of Space Shuttle Columbia or a space debris? The object is most likely a piece of space debris released from the shuttle payload bay. So more likely is a piece of thermal insulation tile floats near the shuttle. Small, unsecured objects introduced into the bay during pre-launch processing of the orbiter, such as pen covers and baseball caps, could be released when the bay doors opened for mission activities. The low Earth orbit region, up to 2,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface, in which the Space Shuttle operated and International Space Station operates today, has the highest concentration of space debris. While much of this debris is comprised of spent rocket boosters and defunct satellite fragments traveling at high velocities relative to the International Space Station, 10 to 11 km per second, objects moving slowly enough to be photographed by the crew are of local origin, and are traveling at relative speeds less than 1 m per second This type of space debris typically presents no danger to the spacecraft or crew.